Hey everyone, Matt here with Reach Your Summit. I'm in the middle of preparing for a winter backpacking trip up north on the Appalachian Trail, and the conditions are going to be very cold. They're calling for zero degree temperatures at night with a wind chill value of around minus 13 to minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit, wind gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour. So having a nice warm meal at camp is going to be very important and providing me with additional comfort when I'm out there in those types of conditions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite backpacking meals, the burrito in a bag. We'll go over the ingredients together, the nutritional value of the meal, and I'll prep the meal with you also. So let's get started. So here's everything that you need to make your own burrito in a bag. Don't worry about this. I'll go over this in just a few minutes after we get everything together. The total weight for this meal can fluctuate between five to six ounces per person, depending on the ingredients that you use. And the total calorie content for this meal per person is going to be between 650 and 750 calories for that five to six ounces. So the packaging for this meal, I use a hefty freezer bag or a Ziploc freezer bag. Doesn't have to be those specific brands. Just make sure it's a freezer bag because if you don't, when you pour hot water into this, it's going to melt the plastic very quickly and you're gonna have a mess all over the place. So the size I'm using is just a quart. All the ingredients I'm about to go over with you it doesn't have to be that specific brand either. You can choose whatever you'd like and what works for your specific diet. All of the nutritional content that I'm going to go over in this video with you is based off of what the brands have listed on the packaging. So to start, I have minute rice. And I'm going to pour half a cup of the dry rice into this cup here. And this is going to weigh 46 grams or about one and a half ounces and the total calorie content for this half a cup is 170 calories. When I rehydrate this rice later on at camp, it's going to make a cup's worth of rice. So then I'll just pour this in. Next. I'm going to add a cup of refried beans. For this, I just bought a can of refried beans at the grocery store, and then I brought it home and dehydrated it in my food dehydrator to get rid of all of the extra weight. So one cup of the beans is going to work with the one cup of rice once it gets rehydrated. And the total weight for the beans is going to be 64 grams and a total calorie content of 218 calories. Then I'm going to add a teaspoon of taco seasoning. This is going to weigh about 0.2 ounces and have a total calorie content of 93 calories. This one here is just from a leftover taco kit that I have at home, but this definitely gives it a little bit of flavor. Then I'll add half a teaspoon of salt. Here I just have some Himalayan pink sea salt. And I've done this multiple times, so I'm just gonna grind this. The total weight for the salt is three grams and I get zero calories from that. But when I'm exerting myself on a winter backpacking trip, this is going to help replenish some of the salts that I sweat out during the day. Then I do the same with pepper, about half a teaspoon, weighs three grams and I'm getting zero calories with that as well. Then I like to add a tablespoon of crushed red pepper flakes. This will weigh about a gram and gives me 15 calories. I'm gonna add a little bit more. And 
This gives it some extra kick. I really like hot food and this is going to warm me up a little bit at camp. And then you can always add some cheese to the, the mix if you want. Usually I'll, I'll add an ounce, which will give me a little over 100 calories. So according to here, it's, this one is 110 calories for 28 grams. So that's just under an ounce. I'm foregoing the cheese on this trip just because I have uh, some guacamole that I'm bringing out with me and I'm going to get good fat content from that and the beans and I don't want to overdo it too much along with everything else that I have for food for this trip. So now this is set. I'll just zip that up and seal it, shake it around a little bit. And I'll carry it just like that. I'll also bring a bag of Fritos. After I rehydrate this meal, I'll add the Fritos to the top, give it some crunchy texture, give it a little bit more salt, give it a little more flavor. Really feel like I'm having a burrito out there at camp. So one bag of Fritos is 160 calories and it weighs 28 grams. Then I might want a little extra kick. Definitely going to have some with my breakfast in the morning. So I'm bringing some jalapeno hot sauce. One tablespoon of this weighs 15 grams and it's going to give me about 10 calories. Like I said, I just want that extra kick for this winter trip. That's going to be delicious. So the total weight for my meal here is going to be about 5.2 ounces. And the total calorie content of this meal is going to be right around 667 calories. Now when I get to camp and I'm ready to eat, I'm going to add eight ounces of boiling water to this bag or a cup. I can add a little bit more to the bag if I want to make it a little soupier, but in this case, with this meal, I want to have the bag be as dry as possible once I finish eating. After I pour hot water in this, I'm going to zip it up, and then I put it inside of a Reflectix pouch. This is a food pouch from Hyperlite Mountain Gear. So the Outer fabric is Dyneema composite fabric, and then they have the insulation inside. So it'll end up looking like this. This is going to help cook my food a little bit quicker, not too much quicker than normal, but it's going to keep my food very warm. This can also help protect my hands while I'm eating when I'm not wearing gloves. I'm definitely gonna be having gloves on for this trip. Total cook time for this meal, the rice takes about five minutes. I like to let my meal usually sit for about six to eight minutes. So there you have it, burrito in a bag. This is a meal that I've enjoyed on multiple backpacking trips and through hikes. Have you tried this meal before? If so, leave your experience in a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions on this meal or anything else in my videos, please feel free to get in touch with me in a comment below, or you can also contact me at reachyoursummit.net. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel as I'm always adding new content. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Enjoy the meal and I'll see you on the trail.